Welcome everybody to another video of MicroStrategy. We're due for an update, especially after the price action of yesterday, which was a little bit unusual, but normally in a way, I'll explain it. Also, I wanted to give the option of everybody to look at MSTU, which is the 2X leverage MicroStrategy just to give you an idea of what that ETF is doing, but it's extremely volatile. It's already, we're already in a champion level of volatility, but with MSTU, it gets crazy. So what happened yesterday? Yesterday, we saw one of the biggest corrections for MicroStrategy in a really, really long time, but it was normal. It was normal, why? because we had this whole huge run of green days here and then we had to come back. Same thing here, as you can see, we extended, move away from the trend, corrected a little bit, push a little higher and then corrected hard to the trend. And then the same thing here. We are not going to go straight up. The weird thing about the price action yesterday was that Bitcoin was approaching 99,000 and MicroStrategy was correcting hard and was not influenced that much by the fact that Bitcoin was moving closer and closer to $100,000 per coin. That also, in the same framework, Bitcoin 100,000 level is extremely critical. I expect a lot of tries before we actually break the level. A lot of retail investors had the target of $100,000 per coin to take profits. People who have been in Bitcoin for over 10 years maybe want to take a few profits here and there at $100,000. This is the same type of resistance that we will see for Eventually, if we ever get there, $1 million per coin. I truly believe we're going to get there, but we are a long way. We need to clear $100,000 per coin before we start talking about that. So these are very psychological levels. Many people plan to sell during that period, during those levels. So it could take a while to break the $100,000 per coin. We will see. MicroStrategy most probably will tell us when that will happen because in the last few weeks, it has front run Bitcoin. It has moved higher before Bitcoin. And then we see a push in Bitcoin. Let's see what will happen in the next few weeks. It's going to be extremely interesting. The other thing that we haven't seen in Bitcoin that we just saw in MicroStrategy is a correction. We could have a $10,000 correction in Bitcoin from 99,000 to 90,000, for example. It could be completely normal to see it. Will we see it? I don't know. How that correction will influence MicroStrategy? I'm guessing it's going to influ influence it to the downside. My guess is that it's going to influence it to the downside, but how powerful the correction will be, we don't know. So this was a healthy correction. This is the one hour chart. That's why you have uh, multiple bars here for yesterday. So we were due for a correction. On top of that, there was a firm who started shorting Bitcoin. And obviously they chose the biggest or farthest point to announce that they were going to short and that triggered all this correction. Maybe a little panic from a few investors who triggered liquidations for those who were long, and that can result in very big corrections. We were down yesterday 16%, which is unusual from what we have seen, but we had three or four days of plus 10% gains before that. So we're still above the initial level from this pump. So we pump, we correct, we may trade sideways a little bit and then pump again, correct, 
trade sideways and so forth. That is possible. The drawdowns are normal. You have to ask yourself, has micro strategy changed? No. Has the strategy of micro strategy changed? No. Has something happened with Bitcoin? No. Is your conviction towards Bitcoin and micro strategy the same? Yes. There's no point in getting out of the trade. If you look long term, long term it's going higher. This week it may be down. Next week it could be up. Next week it could be up. And then the week after maybe we're down. So you, you will have choppiness going up. But usually what will trigger really, really selling of an asset if something fundamental changes or if we are historically near the end of the bull run. That would be more significant. At that time, if the end to supply changes and it starts to go down, even though Bitcoin hasn't changed, the strategy of micro strategy has not changed, our conviction towards those two assets has not changed, but end to supply change, then you need to take action and probably start selling at the top, accumulate cash and wait until the M2 starts to go up again and get in hard in micro strategy at that time. But we will cover that in 2025 where I expect this to happen. We will be more careful in my opinion, starting in uh, June of 2025, June, July, August, September. These are the months that we need to look into it and see how the M2 supply is behaving, how Bitcoin is behaving, how MicroStrategy is behaving to try to establish a top. That's my own strategy. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not selling before that because I believe that this is a great opportunity still. We will have volatility. That's perfectly normal. Many, many people are studying the case of MicroStrategy. Tons and tons of people do not understand the company, what is doing behind the scenes. It's quite technical. It's not easy to understand, but they're doing all kinds of moves to generate different type of derivatives that are targeting different type of investors. And in doing so, they have attracted a bunch of players towards MicroStrategy that, are, that were not attracted by the stock itself. They are attracted by the derivatives coming out of the asset, of the stock. So some, some people will like the stock, some people will like the, the derivatives products, and that's how you balance all the attention that MicroStrategy is getting. With an asset that is exploding in price, it also attracts people who want to short the stock. That is normal because they say, this thing cannot go up forever. At one point, it will crash. It could be a bubble. So therefore, they're going to short the stock. In certain periods, it will work, especially when we are extended like we were here when we had a massive raise in price. And then if they short, yeah, yes, they will be successful. But when they were shorting in this period, they got liquidated, 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 liquidated. But usually, as you saw in the chart, the corrections are usually short-lived and the pumps are usually two or three times the length of corrections. Therefore, shorts in the long run will be in trouble. And once shorts continue to study the stock, they will eventually see and understand what MicroStrategy is doing and less and less people potentially will short the stock. But there's always a crowd for shorting the stock and that's fairly normal. We cannot avoid it and it's going to be part of the volatility of the asset. 
So here, the correction that we saw yesterday was mean reversion because we went exactly back to this uptrend here. We broke here, trade sideways, went up and touched this trend line, exploded in price, trade sideways, up again, corrected, tried trade sideways here, touch it a multiple times, exploded in price, and now we correct it again, touch it twice, and now we're trading sideways. Potentially we will trade a little bit sideways here or a little uptrend. When we touch it, we could explode in price again. So that's what you should expect. That's what TA shows you. And as we said many times, it will not go up eternally unless the stock follows this trend slowly, slowly, slowly. But if we see pushes in price that move away from this trend, automatically expect corrections to happen. On the four hour chart, on the four hour chart, the thing that I wanted to show was the change in trend. So you see here from $112 up to $227 we follow this trend line, who was quite less volatile than what we have seen recently. So push, correction, we touch the trend line, push, correction, we touch, push, correction, we touch, push, correction, we touch, push, correction, we touch. The amplitude of the di distance between the pump and the trend line was fairly consistent, only this one is a little bigger, the last one. But after the last one, the trend changed. We were following this trend line and then we accelerated. When we accelerated the trend line, then the pumps get bigger. You see, they get, they get more vertical, but the corrections also get more drastic and important. And that's what we should expect. At one point, maybe we're going to switch from this trend line to a medium trend line or we get back to this trend line for a slow growth in price. But as we are part of the exponential phase in Bitcoin, my guess is that we're going to stay in this trend line for a while. But expect again high volatility. Let's have a look now at MSTU. So here you have the MSTU, which is the ETF from T-Rex. The company is T-Rex. It's 2X long MSTR daily. It means that it has twice the volatility of MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy goes up 5%. MSTU goes 10%. And on the way down, the same thing. I say it, this ETF is not for everybody. It is extremely volatile and should be used if you want to use it for short periods of time. And usually you try to time the upswings in the stock and get out on corrections. It is not easy to do. So as you see here, this is the main trend line on the one hour chart, but you see the amplitude of the moves are even bigger in percentage wise than those of MicroStrategy. Yesterday, this ETF was down 28%, and I believe MSTR was down 18%. So when you trade this and you use it in the uptrend and you get out, well, you avoid these corrections, but you have to time the market, you need to study a little bit more what the the stock is doing micro strategy, not necessarily Bitcoin, because like I said yesterday, yesterday Bitcoin was going up and micro strategy was going down. It is not 100% correlated. So you need to focus on micro strategy, see what it's doing and try to avoid those drawdowns. So how do you do that? Well, you have your trend line here. When you are far away from the trend line, expect the correction so then you need to get out if you are writing here at one point you could get out here 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 getting the top top is extremely difficult 
So once you have enough distance from the trend line, I would get up. When you're near this trend line, it is the safe way to technically get in. So you could get in here in the trend line, right away, get up. Then when you're near the trend line, you get in, use the pump here and get out. Same thing here. When you need the trend line, you get in, you wait, you get out here, here, or here. Then you wait. When you need the trend line here, you look and you see, okay, it's following the trend line. No big deal, no big deal. Whoops, we're starting to get away. You can get out here, 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 and here. That's what I, how I would approach using this ETF for the short term if you want to do that but you need to be in the market you need to have access to these tools and be comfortable with selecting points at one point that are going to go down because if you're waiting here 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 i'm gonna take profits here and it starts correcting you need to get out and that's fairly difficult to do if you're not in front of your computer so you have to take that into account and if MicroStrategy always does these types of movements, then it's easier to predict. If it becomes less regular, it's going to be even more complicated to get in and get out of the asset. And then I would advise not to use it. But this is only for people who want volatility and are very comfortable at reading TA and being fast on the trigger to get in. And get up on the four hour chart a little bit like we covered earlier for micro strategy we have two trends the smaller one and the steeper one even though we're 2x we saw this shifting we saw this shift in trends but you see also that the bumps here were fairly irregular initially the big one that we saw prior to the change of the steepness of the trend and then the jumps became huge. And that obviously when these jumps become huge, a 2X leverage ETF is going to be very, very volatile. So you have to be extremely careful. Bitcoin is extremely volatile. MicroStrategy is 1.5 times to two times more volatile than Bitcoin. And if you use these 2X leverage ETFs, we're talking, about, we're talking about three times, four times the volatility of Bitcoin. So you need to have in mind and know what you're doing before using these tools, especially the 2x long ETFs. If not, stick with MicroStrategy, but also try to detect these very extended periods because corrections will happen throughout this bull run. That's inevitable. You will have to face those big corrections, especially if we gain price extremely quickly. And the last thing, yesterday after the big correction, MicroStrategy announced that they closed a 3 billion access, access of cash. So in the next few days, they will announce buying of 3 billion worth of Bitcoin. It would be very interesting to see how the stock reacts and the timing of it. Let's keep learning, let's keep watching, and let's keep enjoying this very critical time. Like I said, Bitcoin is near 100K. If we get over the 100K fairly fast, we should explode in price, in my opinion. I think we're going to trade sideways for a while because it's going to be tough to break that wall, but I could be wrong.